If you're a fan of dynamic storytelling, where your choices have real consequences, then it's worth keeping an eye on The Last Oricru. A story-driven action RPG from Czech studio Gold Knights and publishing label Prime Matter. The Last Oricru sees you wake up in the world of Wardenia, a planet mired in a bitter civil war. It's a conflict in which you can play a pivotal role. Every action, subquest, and life taken can affect your reputation with the warring factions. There are multiple ways to play through the game. No right or wrong path to be had. Your decisions will literally shape the fate of the world. Mercy of a swift death. <laughs> Your journey through Wardenia is fraught with peril. There are dangers around every corner of this war-torn world, and plenty of fights to be had. Combat in the last Oracru is easy to pick up, but hard to master. There are many ways to throw down, from melee and ranged weapons with unique abilities, to techno-magical items. The manner by which you distribute the skill points that you earn is important, but it allows for lots of flexibility in terms of how you approach combat. The action's challenging, and the ebb and flow of a fight will be familiar to any Souls-like fan, but it's not unforgiving. Just don't get too complacent. Co-op fans will be pleased to know that The Last Oracru can be enjoyed in local and online co-op, thanks to a seamless hop-in, hop-out system accessible once the tutorial has been completed. The game has been purposefully designed, with both solo and co-op play in mind. Playing with a friend allows for special chain reaction moves, new paths and puzzles to overcome, and even special attacks for bosses that can't be activated solo. Boasting a branching narrative that puts player agency front and center, The Last Oracru is a truly intriguing proposition, and one that you can get stuck into for yourselves right now on Xbox Series S and X.